Okay, I'm back. I, uh, I did quite a bit of operating the past couple of days. I'd say maybe I put at least two hours on the machine and uh, cleared out the side of the house as kind of a drainage project. And uh, did a little work behind me here on the lot across the street. It's an empty lot. That's where we staged a lot of our sand and gravel. So I was just cleaning that up. But uh, yeah, after a couple hours, my left track got real loose. And the right one seems to be okay. So I don't know if I got a leaking joint here or not, but I'm going to try to take a look inside. So there's a cover here where that covers your zerk fitting and you pump it with grease to adjust your track. And I know I was having problems before with the right size wrench to use on this. Of all the wrenches they gave me, you know, none of them were, were really perfect, but I think I found the right one. I think it's 27 millimeter. Uh, I see what that looks like I, I see what happened here. Hey, good morning. The, uh, this is going to be probably hard to see in there, but the actual, the actual Zerk fitting has exploded or something because look, you know, the spring that's inside has popped, has popped out. I'm going to get a rag and clean that off and see what really happened. Let's see if I can get in there. This is a really awkward uh, situation here to adjust the tracks, but I think it's pretty common uh, on all kinds of machines. It's just harder when you're 55 years old. <laughs> yeah, I've got the, I took the grease off it. And you can probably see this, how the spring kind of popped right out of the 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 end of the fitting of the zerk fitting so let me get a socket and we'll take that out and try to put a new fitting on up but what happened to the grease fitting this is one of my new grease fittings that I purchased this didn't come with the machine look how this the spring just kind of puked out of the, the whole thing I'll go ahead and get another fitting and See if that'll go in there. This is my kit that I bought from Lock and Lube. And I'm looking in here to see what might be the cure for 45 degree forty-five degree problem. So I wonder if this might work. This looks like I can connect the gun to this and then connect this to the grease fitting. Of course, that's not going to be, it's not going to be, allow me to use the, the locking feature of, you know, that I want to use on this side. This attachment that I have on here now is the, for the, uh, I just call it the, well, the low profile fittings. Yeah, I might call it a needle, a needle fitting. So I wonder if I connect this. Connect 
this in here and then this on the, the hard to reach one will work. Let's try it. This is crazy. This isn't something I want to do every day, I tell you that. With the way my knees are, this just isn't going to be fun. Better try to open this while pushing this back, maybe through this way. Jaws. I think. Okay, it's on there. But I, I'm pretty sure that's so crooked it's gonna. It's gonna piss grease everywhere. But let's try. Yeah. Look at this shit. Yeah, fuck this man. Lock and lube my ass. Now this is going to be stuck because it's not a quick release. <coughs> so lock and lube my ass. <laughs> lock and lube my ass. Grease where it's supposed to be, not where it's not. That's bullshit. Now let's try to go straight on here. <laughs> No, nope. not happening. Oh, fuck. This is slightly small, won't fit. Throw that away. This 27 millimeter here is the one that fits. shit going in there guys it's just going everywhere this track is not going to inflate so I'm going to get rid of this junk and buy some Try to find an aftermarket one that is, is better and put a 45 degree fitting on it. I'm thinking it, what, what might have happened is this fitting maybe bottomed out in the, in the other fitting and uh, that's why it's just pissing, pissing grease everywhere. So what I mean is maybe this fitting is going too far and it's hitting the back of the, the deal and that's what it looks like. But what other options do I have? I need a short, shorter, shorter berserk fitting. And while we're out here, might as well run through the rest of the the greasing and then I'll have to order some parts but let's see let's see what happens with the rest of the fittings here let's see if we can grease some of these so I had uh, I used the yellow caps to kind of help me know which well help me find find the grease fittings and remember them but I lost this one so okay so we got that on there let's see what happens and we've got good squeeze out you know right there 
and I uh, can see some on that side. But this is just a dirty business. If anybody has, I mean, with more experience with me, uh, how to make this less painful, put something in the comments for me. All right, I'm back in the garage. I had enough of that for this morning, but uh, just taking baby steps with this machine and passing on what I'm learning. You know, if I didn't want to do all this, I would have bought a Sani. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but so what did, we, what did we learn this morning? We learned that my left skid was, and it's because the, the second Zerk fitting that I put in kind of exploded. The spring, well, the ball came out, and the spring came right out behind it. And that's what flattened the skid. And then I tried to replace the Zerk fitting with a new one. Um, but the new one was, the threads were longer, and as they went in the grease fitting, uh, they blocked off the port you know the lubrication port so when you tried to grease it the grease would just come out everywhere and uh except where it needed to be right and uh so now i'm back to either finding a a zerk fitting that's shorter that won't block the port or getting uh some aftermarket uh ram i guess i don't even know what you call it i'd say it's a, a ram a ram fitting for belt tensioning. The ones that came with the machine are two piece. They're thread together, then they got a, a, a roll pin in there through the through them for some reason. Um, and they didn't you know, like when you tighten tighten up the uh, the ram fitting. Uh, your your zerk fitting might be pointing the wrong direction, so you can't get your grease gun on it. Uh, so there's all kinds of problems with that. Not to mention, uh, it's hard to get in there to manipulate it. You know, five inches off the ground behind the, the track frame. So I'm thinking about, I'll order like, uh, you know, aftermarket ram fittings, modify them with a, either a short ho hose or tube, and pipe that into the block off plate on the outside of the track and then put a zerk fitting there that way I can just hit it with a you know straight uh, straight zerk fitting for greasing and then I can buy I'll put a big nut over you know the zerk fitting and weld that to the outside of the track so it will have protection from being scraped by rocks or debris or anything like that. I mean, that's why they're inside the track frame in the first place is to protect that fitting. But I think I could still protect it and um, with a big nut and then I could even uh, put a, uh, a cap on, on that nut so the Zerk fitting would be completely enclosed and free from debris and, and damage. Now, having said that, you would lose you know, maybe an inch on either side of your track of clearance. But, um, yeah, I mean, when you see those infomercials, they're driving these things through doors. I'm not planning to do that, and I don't need that much clearance. So that's, that's one of the improvements I plan to make. And then I went on to uh, grease the rest of the machine to see how that the second greasing went. And it went pretty good. I got a good squeeze out uh, f uh, from most of the fittings. I got the best results from the, the low clearance fittings using uh, flat and the needle, uh, the needle attachment to grease. And and then and then I started thinking, hey, what, why don't I just replace all of those arc fittings with the low clearance ones because. They're so much easier to to use, and from my experience, using that needle with the powered grease gun, 
it's less waste, less mess, and I get good squeeze out every time. So I might think about the advantages and disadvantages of changing some, some or all of those grease fittings to the low profile type. And oh, what's next? Uh, some of the, like every time I, this is the second time I greased it, or maybe the third, but I think what, what you'll find if you go through the experience is like every time you do, you find a new fitting that you didn't see last time. So I find one or two fittings that I didn't see the last time, grease those, put my yellow cap on, and the yellow cap, besides keeping debris out, but it's more of an indicator to me that, hey, that's, that's a grease fitting, you know, next time I come back. And then when I come back, if it's gone, I say, hey, that's one that fell off. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, so next steps are I'm going to order, order those parts. And I need to go get some more diesel fuel. This will be my second full tank of operation. And I think that's all for now. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later.